Welcome back to my channel. Do you want to install VMware in your system, but you don't know how to download the latest version from the official website? So don't worry. You have come to the right place because today, I will teach you how to download and install the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro, and that too from the official website. So without wasting time, let's head towards the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. So to download VMware, I will open the browser and search for VMware Workstation. And from the search results, I will open the official website and scroll down. Upon scrolling, you will get the option for VMware Workstation Pro for PC. But as soon as I click on download, it will take me to the sign-in page because this software is from Broadcom Company. So first, we have to register an account and only then can we sign in. So in the top right corner, you will get the option for register. After clicking on this, you will have to give your email. But I will use a temporary email because I only need VMware from the Broadcom website. So after typing the email, I will get an email verification code. After typing that code, I will type the details and complete the registration. So after the registration is complete, I will sign in through my recently used mail. and you can see that the dashboard has opened. Now, if I go to the My Downloads section, you will get a message here saying no data found because here you will only get the downloaded software. And if you go to the official website again and click on download, you will get the same page and message, no data found. But here you will get the option, free software downloads available here. Clicking on which the list of all free softwares by Broadcom will appear in front of me. From here, I will select VMware Workstation Pro and then select the latest version, which is 17.6.4. Then the download link will appear in front of me, but I will not be able to click on it because before downloading it, I have to read the terms and conditions and accept them. So I will click on the terms and conditions and accept them. And you can see that the download option has now appeared. But as soon as I click, it will tell me that some further verifications are pending before download. So I will click OK and it will ask me all the details, like address, city, state, zip code, and etc. So after giving all these details, I can download the official software from here. So I will download the software. After the download is complete, I will open it. After the preparation of the installer, it will open. First, we will get the welcome page. Next, we will get the license agreement. After accepting it, we will get the compatible setup screen in which the setup will ask for permission to change our system settings so that it can be compatible for VMware, like installation of Windows hypervisor platform automatically. I will accept it and click Next. I will leave the destination folder as default and will also add the console tools in the system path and click Next. And then after choosing the user experience settings, I will install the software. After the installation is complete, I will open the software. And from here now, we can create a new virtual machine and install any OS we want. So in this way, you can download and install the latest version of VMware Workstation Pro from its official website. If you know any other method, then definitely tell us in the comments section. In my next video, I will teach you how to install Android TV in a USB and how to use it. I will also tell you that. So don't miss my next video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so that you'll never miss an update from our channel. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.